Hello, overclockers. Barebones keyboards and custom keyboards used to be pretty daunting, with the challenge of soldering, complicated builds, and even sourcing the components themselves. However, nowadays you can easily buy a custom keyboard kit and start building your own keyboard. In this Overclockers Academy video, I'm going to focus on showing you how to build the glorious GMK Pro. If like me, you've been using gaming keyboards from the likes of Corsair, Ducky and Razer, the glorious GMMK Pro is a great entry into the custom keyboard world. It's very good quality, has its own software, is easy to build, and Glorious offers a large range of compatible parts to change its look and feel. That's why I've chosen it as my next keyboard, and you can follow along the build with me to learn all about the different components and how to create your own. The first and probably most important step is choosing your keyboard components. There's so much to cover that you'll likely want to do quite a bit of research outside this video. However, I will run over the basics and talk through the parts that I've personally chosen for my keyboard and why. The Barebones GMMK Pro body is available in a stealthy black or bright aluminium, and of course, ISO or ANSI layout. This is all down to taste, so pick this based on your favourite colour and layout. I'm in the UK, so I've gone for ISO, but an ANSI layout might be a good option if you want to experiment with different keycap sets, which are often more readily available in ANSI layout. The body can be further customised with a coloured top frame. You can choose from white, navy blue, electric blue, yellow, green or pink. Matching knobs are also available for this keyboard to add a little bit of extra further customization. And I was actually very tempted by the white top frame, but I like the way the silver is gonna contrast with my white keycaps, which are of course another extra. Glorious has a huge range of their own in many different colors, which use the shallower cherry profile, and they come as a set that will fit the GMMK Pro. However, the Overclockers UK website has a huge range from other other brands that are worth experimenting with. I recommend researching the different materials available, the profiles, the RGB compatibility, construction and more. Make sure that you do pick the correct layout for your board and the correct stem fitment to match your switches. Picking your switches is very, very important as it can really change how your keyboard sounds, feels or even looks. And switches do definitely deserve a video of their own as there is so much variation out there. There's so many different brands and they're all coming in at different price points. Because the GMMK Pro is hot swappable, most of them are compatible, giving you near on unlimited choice. So I do recommend spending some time researching or even testing out different options. You can actually do this with kits like the Glorious Keyboard Switch Sample Pack. Thankfully, if you do happen to make the wrong choice, you can of course always return them back to overclockers, or you can easily switch them out in the future to try something a little bit different. Personally, I have opted for the Glorious Panda Pre-Lube switches. I really love a tactile switch and I'm a little bit lazy and I don't want to lube my own, so that's why I've gone for these ones. You're going to need 83 switches for the anti layout and 84 for the ISO. Step two is ordering the extras. These are components that aren't actually needed for a GMMK Pro, but they do add that extra layer of customization. To further customize how your keyboard feels when typing, you can actually change the back plate. The bare bones board comes with an aluminium plate as standard, which is a good middle ground. You can opt for a brass plate if you wanna get a firmer, heavier overall feel with a, quite a musical note when you're typing and a bit of gold peeking through the keycaps. Or polycarbonate, which creates a softer feel and sound with better RGB diffusion. There are plenty of YouTube videos out there, so do have a listen to which one you prefer. You could also, 
upgrade the stabilizers as well to the Glorious GS V2s. These are screw-in stabilizers, so they're nice and quick to install, and they do improve the sound and feel of your keystrokes, thanks to the polymer housings and the premium gold-plated wires. You're gonna wanna pair these stabilizers with G-Loop, which is gonna reduce the friction, and you can also use this on your other switches if you happen to buy some that aren't pre-lubed. The GMMK Pro comes with a matching braided cable. However, you can take things to another level with the glorious coiled cable. I absolutely love how this cable looks on the desk and you can choose from black, white, red, purple, navy, blue, pink, yellow, or green, all matching. And finally, why not indulge yourself with artisan keycaps? This is easily the best way to spend way, way too much money on your keyboard. These tiny little worlds are absolutely beautiful and I'm going to be completing my board with a couple of Koi keycaps from Jelly Key. Now that you've got all of your components, it's time to build. You'll only need to follow this step if you want to change the backplate, faceplate, or stabilizers, and it actually requires more disassembly. And do the eight screws on the rear of the body and lift away the knob and faceplate. To go deeper, there's two further screws to remove the PCB. Now you can access all the components separately and change them out. For this build, I'm upgrading to the Glorious GS V2 stabilizers. Upgrading your stabilizers can be a tad complicated. However, Glorious do have a brilliant tutorial over on their website, so I do recommend going and checking that out. So the stabilizers, I've already pre-built them and I've pre-lubed them. The first step is to remove the PCB. So you wanna gently lift that up, make sure to unplug the USB-C cable and then flip that over, then 12 further screws to separate the back plate. and use a small screwdriver to remove the eight total stabilizer screws that hold them in place. Once unscrewed, gently remove the stabilizers by sliding the housings downward, then lifting them up. You might find there's a little bit of lubrication on there, so use a bit of isopropyl alcohol to wipe that off if you do find it. You can then install the new stabilizers, so you slide them into place, ensure the housings are nice and flush against the PCB, place a washer on the stabilizer screw while holding the housing flush to the PCB and gently screw it into place. You then wanna repeat the same for all the other stabilizers. Once that's done, now is a perfect time to install your new back plate. So we remove the aluminium one and it's time to put the polycarbonate one into place and then return all those screws that you just removed. Step four is to install your switches. If you want to lube them, make sure to do this before installation. If you have the patience, you can do this with a tiny brush for the best application, or just chuck them all in a bag and shake them up. Like I mentioned earlier, my Panda switches do come pre-lubed. So match up the switch contacts with those on the PCB by changing the orientation and simply click them all into place with a firm and even push. 
For further customization, why not try a different switch type on the WASD keys or arrow keys? Step five, it's time to install the keycaps. Once again, click them all into place with a firm and even push. This is so satisfying and keycap sets often come with a few different options so make sure to play around with all the different colors. If you happen to change your mind, you can easily remove each keycap with a keycap puller that comes in the box with the GMMK Pro body. If you're unsure where to put the keycaps, I'll put a diagram with the different layouts up on the screen now so you can pause the video and match them up. Alternatively, you can bring up an image on Google on your phone, so all you have to do is place all the keycaps in the right spot. We're nearing the end now, and for step six, all you need to do is plug in your cable. The GMMK Pro has a USB-C connector, so it's super easy, and I just love the look of the coiled cable. Sites like Etsy are a great place to get hold of unique and custom cables for a truly unique build. The final and seventh step is to plug in your beautiful new GMMK Pro and head to the Glorious website to download the Glorious Core software. You can customize the key binding and set up macros, change the RGB lighting, save different profiles, and most importantly, update the firmware to the latest version. There is so many different options and thankfully, Glorious has created a handy user guide which can also be downloaded. Thank you for watching this Overclockers Academy video on how to build your very own custom keyboard. I feel like we've only just scratched the surface here, but hopefully it gives you the confidence to dive into the wonderful world of custom keyboards. It's well worth visiting our glorious or our mechanical keyboards for even more inspiration. I must admit, I absolutely love my build, so let's end this video with a little bit of a satisfying sound test. And remember to leave us a like and comment if we helped you out.